These are the people or the stories that caught our attention this week that deserve a call out either for their good or their foolishness. Go for it, Jared. Um, I want to give a call back to a, an honorable mention that I gave here before to a documentary on HBO Max called The Beauty of Blackness, which is directed by uh, one of our good friends here on the show and more on that in a second. It is a documentary though on HBO Max that kind of covers the history of blackness. They say uh, in 1973, Eunice Johnson, the founder of Ebony and Jet launched the first national cosmetics brand created exclusively for black women. Um, this film chronicles fashion fashion fairs past and follows its new leadership as they reinvent the brand. We've had Tiffany Johnson on this show before. She's a good friend of mine. She's like the annoying little sister I didn't want. And I love her. And she is the the director on this um, documentary. It's really, really fantastic. You can get it on HBO Max. Again, it's called The Beauty of Blackness. And I think that's everything that I have. Great. Because you know you like to go long. Oh, wait. No, Uh... I did have another doc here. (laughs) Um, (laughs) We pull out the scroll and like begin. (sighs) <sighs> okay, I want to give a quick shout out to um, Glad Honors. Glad Honors is a uh, was an event from last week put on by the Communities of Color um, Vertical, if you will, from Glad, led by um, Deshaun Usher. It was a uh, an event before the Glad Awards to honor and recognize the Black nominees, um, and you know. Uh, I want to say every every like you know up and up and coming, but also super established like black queer actor, actress, influencer, journalist, screenwriter person um, was in the room. Not every. Um, there's an asterisk there, but whatever. Um, well, I, I didn't go. Sorry. You, you didn't go, and that was your choice. But guess what? Everybody was there. Wow, the erasure of the light-skinned black man, and this is just... And so shout out to them. <laughs> I said the light-skinned black man, and... There were other light-skinned black men. Yeah. Anyway, there was... A, it was <laughs> oh, the, you, well... Anyway, so shout out to them. It was a great event. It was wonderful just to like be in a space with like, you know, the 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 who's who, if you will, of black queer um, Hollywood. Um, and that's uh, at various levels. Um, also want to shout out the folks who um, were at the Region 4 conference for NABJ in Phoenix at Arizona State University this past weekend. Um, I met a... Um, young person whose name I can't remember in this moment and I did not write it down who is you know familiar with the work and familiar with the podcast so shout out to you can't remember your name but you know who you are um and then last but not least coming up on April 15th my third convention conference whatever that I've been planning um the Arts and Entertainment Media Institute for NABJ will be April 15th here in Los Angeles at Loyola Marymount University um if you are a journalist reporter writer influencer content creator check out our program see who we all have coming see if there's something that you feel like you you could 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 take away um, from the program that we're offering um, and join us April 15th. Jarrett will be there live and in color moderating a morning keynote with the editorial director of The Hollywood Reporter, Nakisa Mumbi Moody. Um, other faves from the Fanti fam will be there. Shar Jossel, Ryan Mitchell, et cetera, et cetera. And check it out. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Nope. 